Philadelphia, home of the famous cheesesteak. Here we are, Dr. Ken, in Philadelphia. Uh, about to have some awesome food. Philadelphia is known for its cheesesteaks, and here we are next to two really famous uh, cheesesteak spots. We know about the ideal diet. If you haven't already, check out my video on what foods we should eat. Ideally, we want to eat home-cooked foods, whole food, plant-based, have lots of veggies. But does that mean you're gonna cut out all the sugar and all the junk food and all that? Look, if you're having medical problems, I highly suggest you limit those but if you're eating a relatively healthy diet if you're exercising and you're out here in Philly and you've got something that's really delicious like a cheesesteak I classify these foods as recreational indulgences these foods should not comprise the majority of your diet but hey if you're traveling if you're out with friends uh, if there's a delicious food know what it does to you these foods are not healthy they will get you chronic disease but if you want to indulge every now and then, I'm not saying don't enjoy the things that are just awesome in life. I'm just saying be conscious about what these foods do to your body. I'm about to scarf down this delicious cheesesteak, but it's totally unhealthy, right? I'll only indulge every now and then because I've had a history of diabetes. I've had a history of hypertension. So I want you to look at these foods the very same way. Use them as recreational indulgences. And if you have chronic disease now, I would totally move towards a cleaner diet as mentioned earlier on. But until then, I'm having a cheesecake today. All right, so just had a Philly cheesesteak. How do I feel about it? Was it delicious? I don't know if I really enjoy it anymore. I did it because here I am in Philly. But what I did realize after I put this in my mouth was, uh, you know, the conscious choices that we make every time we eat, all right? What did I put in my mouth today? I put in cheese Whiz, I put in meat that's not grass-fed or pasture-raised, um, and a lot of inflammatory stuff in my body. That doesn't treat my body very well. But let's look at the choice that I made to eat the meat, all right? The meat that I came, you know, a lot of meat that we have today, uh, over 95, 96% of the meat that we have come from factory farms, right? These factory farms usually treat their workers really bad, they treat the animals really bad, and they're totally bad for the, for the environment, all right? Um, one, the animals, they're in trap quarters. They're given antibiotics. They are fed grains, which is some stuff that they, they don't eat, and they're fed candy. Um, which makes their meat very inflammatory, so it's bad for your health. You know, these factory farms have a lot of pollutants and they're polluting our water supply, so they're totally bad for the environment. Also leads to, um, you know, greenhouse gases. This was an example of, of choice. Uh, I'm really lucky I was able to really uh, take a step back and think about what I just put in my body and what I did for the environment, what I did um, as a political statement when I ate this, and I'm like, hmm, I want to make that choice less. And so don't beat yourself up for the choices that you do make, but it's, I think it's very important to be conscious about what you're doing to yourself, what, what you're doing for the greater good. Now, I understand that it, it's really difficult for, for some people. I work at a county hospital uh, associated UCLA, and the people come in are obese, the people come in are diabetic, and the people come in uh, have high blood pressure. It is the it is a mecca of chronic disease, and I understand that a lot of people just can't afford to have home cooked, you know, quality uh, plant based foods. And it's an unfortunate thing. Uh, but those of you that do have the choice to do that, just be a little bit more cautious about how you treat yourself, how you treat your body, and how you treat the environment. Now that I have my indulgence, I'm like, you know what? This doesn't feel real good. You know, I'm not feeling really good when I'm done eating it. And the, the choice I made to vote on on supporting something that's not good for the environment or my health, I don't think I'll be making this recreational indulgence that much more often.